Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome to my plan with me for November 25th through December 1st. I'll start off with some washi tape from Erin Condren, which they actually call paper tape. And this is just a nice floral pattern that goes with the teal in the colorful option from the Erin Condren Life Planner. And I'm gonna stop it right at the end of November so I can think of something different to do for the first day of December. And speaking of December, can you believe that we are almost to December? Goodness gracious, this is Thanksgiving week, and then it's the month of Christmas. And how on earth did this happen so quickly? I do not know. So since Erin Condren goes with a lime green, that's what I'm going to go with on the skinny washi. And then I'm going to use these Happy Planner pumpkin numbers to cover the dates and just make things a little more festive this week. I do not have piano lessons this week, so it'll be a different kind of busyness. And I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy getting my house ready for Thanksgiving and grocery shopping and cooking and coordinating with um, the others who are gonna come for Thanksgiving and um, I'm just going to savor this week and um, get geared up for when piano lessons return next week uh, because then we'll be in full-on recital prep mode. Here's one of those new hexagon stickers that Erin Condren came out with to cover the larger hexagon areas, either in your life planner or in the new petite daily planners where there is a hexagon. They're fantastic because they turn that center space into something functional that you can write on. I'm using some boxes from a Happy Planner sticker book and I'm going to layer with script stickers also from a Happy Planner book. So Monday's going to be grocery shopping day. I imagine that some of you who are super on the ball have already done your Thanksgiving grocery shopping. Not only have I not done it, I don't know what I'm going to buy yet, but um, I know that it's going to be crowded. Today is Saturday, the 23rd of November, and we went to the grocery store and it was jam-packed. So we went to the less popular grocery store around the corner and it was jam-packed and we ran into um, some friends there because they were also escaping the more crowded grocery store. I'm gonna move my cleaning day over to Tuesday so that the house is gonna maybe be a little bit cleaner still by Thursday. I usually clean on Monday. And I'm using some Chrissy Ann Designs icon stickers to decorate that cleaning box. And then Wednesday is going to be a cooking day, but I'm also going to try to keep the laundry moving that day. I'm almost out of those little laundry baskets. I think I have some more on a different sheet, but they're really cute. That's probably my favorite laundry sticker. Question, how do you use those puffy stickers? I haven't thought of a way to use those yet because I don't want to bulk up my planner. If you have an idea, let me know. Then I'm using the same Happy Planner sticker book to get that box, but this one's trimmed in gold for Thanksgiving Day. And I'm layering that with a gold... Um, quote sticker from Erin Condren and I'm gonna put a nice pie there that one's an Erin Condren sticker which was in the fall seasonal surprise box speaking of seasonal surprise boxes raise your hand if you got the winter surprise box I did but it hasn't arrived yet I got free shipping um well it comes with free shipping but i didn't upgrade the shipping so i'm doing meal prep on wednesday and i think our meal time is going to be around two o'clock on thursday and 
And that way, we'll probably um, rest for a while, maybe we'll take a nap, but then we'll have just enough of an appetite in the evening that maybe we can come back for a leftover piece of pie or something. Those are Chrissy Ann Design Stickers. Count your blessings and eat turkey with family. That was from the Fall Bucket List sheet. And that was in a collection that was um, at Michael's. The music that you're hearing in the background is just me playing some Christmas music, a little bit random. Um, I just picked out two Christmas books and started playing. And they're um, early intermediate level pieces, so a lot of my students play from these books. Now, I have said before, I'm not a big Black Friday shopper especially out at the mall. But I do enjoy some online shopping, very minimal online shopping. But I know that the Erin Condren sale is probably gonna be good. So I've been working on my wish list, not so much for me, but for some um, inexpensive, or I should say affordable gift options for friends um, because you can personalize so many things with Erin Condren. So um, I'm going to work on a video with um, gift ideas um, and maybe different ways to use Erin Condren products than are the traditional way. And I will um, upload that hopefully in time for you guys to take a look at it and possibly use some of the ideas yourself if you like them in time for the sale. And of course, with all the eating, I'm gonna to have to make sure I walk. And I'm gonna use four day off stickers because Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are normally piano teaching days. Those are Erin Condren stickers. The little tennis shoes are Happy Planner. I wasn't sure what I was going to write up there in the hexagon since I don't have a lesson number, so I just chose the Be Thankful. All right, Sunday or maybe even Friday or Saturday before that, we're gonna go ahead and put our Christmas tree up. We switched to an artificial tree a few years ago, mainly because I started to be allergic to the real trees. So I'm looking forward to that, but I'm a little bit dreading the part where we discover whether or not all of the pre-lit lights are working. Well, I guess the lights aren't pre-lit, are they? The tree is pre-lit. Okay, so my question with these Chrissy Ann holidays is why are the major holidays, to me anyway, Thanksgiving and Christmas so tiny, but then April Fool's Day and Tax Day are giant? thought I might put a 2019 there, but then it covered up the day of the week and I didn't really like how that looked. This is oversized, but I've gotten into offsetting stickers sometimes. So I'm just gonna trim the right side, but let that left part hang over. use a little planner Kate freebie 
to put the time for church and that that green looked a little bit sad all by itself so I thought I'd put a little red with it that is another planner Kate and I think that is her December um, sheet I think it's um, explicitly for matching the Erin Con December color I'm layering it with a poinsettia or do you say poinsettia I've always said poinsettia I don't know if I'm right though Tuesday the 26th is supposed to be delivery day for my surprise box and a few other things that I threw in with that order um, that I wanted to use in my holiday gift ideas video. So that's an exciting day that I want to make sure I highlight. Back when I used the horizontal layout, I ordered some of these big two-day boxes from Chrissy Ann Designs. And I think the way that they're supposed to be used is that on the horizontal layout, you can connect your weekend, like Saturday and Sunday, vertically, if that makes sense. But in the vertical layout, it doesn't really look right, I don't think. I guess you could use it vertically, but I decided to just put it horizontal and trim out the middle of it. And I'm using that gingham pattern spread over two days to mark that I'm going to do some EC shopping. That's when I'm um, anticipating that I will settle on my gift ideas. And I might take a couple of days because I'm going to personalize things. And um, I'm going to try to put some extra thought into who should get what. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on um, gifts. But um, I want to make good use of that sale. So um, I may do it on Friday and Saturday. And like I said, I will try to have my holiday gift ideas from EC uploaded um, in plenty of time for you guys to take a look and see what you think about some of the um, possibly new ways to use Erin Condren products got a couple of birthdays this week one is on the 25th and the other is on the 29th and um, on the 25th that's my uh, neighbor and um, she loves pimento cheese especially um, this extra sharp homemade pimento cheese that I make so I'm gonna make her a little carton of pimento cheese and surprise her with that. And then I'm using a Chrissy Ann Designs stack of dollar bills there to show that um, even though that's my cleaning day on Tuesday, I'm gonna try to help my mom um, with a few financial things, pay a couple of bills on Tuesday. The dashed line has become one of my favorite ways to block off a piece of time. That was Saray's idea on Saray plans. Then um, my husband's payday is on the 29th. And that's another Christy Ann Designs sticker. So our younger son, our baby, has his birthday on the 29th, and he's going to be 29. That's our baby. He's going to be 29. 1990 feels like yesterday to me sometimes. 
And I know some of you planner girls were not even born yet in 1990, but um, it just seems like yesterday. But that was when he was born. I will put a playlist of what I've been um, playing in the background in case any of you play piano and you're interested. And I will put a link to the books that they come from as well. So on the sidebar, I'm just doing my checklist, things that I want to make sure that I focus on and take care of this week. One of them is my flu shot, and I know that flu shots can be controversial, but for me, they're not. I just have to get a flu shot because um, I'm around kids um, every week, and every year that I don't get the flu shot, I get the flu like two or three times, and it's terrible. I get a really bad case of the flu when I get the flu. So that's one of the things I want to take care of for sure. There's a Planner Kate check box that I'm using to just break down the steps for getting next week's plan with me done. And I'll go ahead and record piano music with that one next week too, I think. And um, so that's an extra step, but it's kind of fun. And I'll just keep the Christmas music going. And you know what? It's going to need a dashed line so I can block out that big chunk of time there. Here is my dramatic slow motion flyover of the whole week. I think I will have one and possibly two additional videos posted this week. One for, um, of course, the holiday ideas for inexpensive or affordable personalized gifts from Erin Condren. And the other would be kind of recipe sharing. And I may do a video to even show how I'm going to do my Thanksgiving meal planning and shopping list. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.